Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2. We're currently on the 1.4.0 beta for ETS2. And one of the big fixes that they did do for the beta, before we get on the road, I'm going to um, show you one of the big things it is coming into 4.0. Is look at the lighting. It looks so good. Look at the sky. I mean, it, it looks amazingly good. Even here on ETS2. So we're going to hit the road. We'll be taking this wind turbine. We have 435 miles to go. We're using the Scanner V8 today. Hope I said that name right. I don't use these trucks too much. Stir our lights, huh? We're gonna we're gonna lower the uh, other wheels. And we're gonna get on the road. We'll get a thumbnail. Oh yeah, that that the skybox looks really good. And I've noticed uh, from other videos, I did watch uh, Mr. Jeff Fabiano's uh, ATS video, and I do agree turn with him left. on the um, about the you know the problem the fences that they do need still need to fix. So. Little fixes here and there, but the game looks so much better. I mean, this game is really, these games are Go really starting on. to come alive. I mean, SCS is doing, they're working a lot. I mean, and this is no uh, graphics mod. The graphics mod did not work right now. I think we're going to go ahead and get a thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and do that. In case it does get dark on us in this trip. I'd like to go ahead and get one. So we can get that out of the way. And I, I do have questions about the thumbnail. A lot of people, they do uh, edit this out. And I understand that. And I do apologize for anyone that don't like to see this. But I, I like to keep it in. I, do, I have had a lot of people that does like to see the thumbnails, that watches the videos, so that's one reason why I'm doing it. I'd say, uh, I do like this, uh, truck. For a European type truck, I, I do like exit it. right, and then exit right. Exit right. Let me see. We're going to see if we can close. We do this every time. There we go. Close that up. As much as I play this, I should know what is what, but I still don't know. I need to do a little bit of fixing for the graphics, but it, it looks really good. The, um... You can definitely see the difference. The uh, lighting and stuff, the uh, the headlights and you know the cars and stuff. We'll probably get to see that a little bit later on in the video when it gets in more into night. We're gonna have to take the ferry on this trip, so at the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. And I do apologize, guys. I'm really trying to get in here and uh, make more videos, you guys. There's a lot of games that's uh, coming that I really want to look at. Um, Hitman 3 is something that I'm thinking I may, I may do some live streaming on with. I have played a little bit of it, but I'm going to restart it if I decide to do a live stream with it. At the roundabout, take the first I, do a, exit. I may do a few videos with it, too, you know. Exit now. 
I do see the uh, puffiness. Uh, a little bit of the sky is blowed out a little bit. See, our lights are on right there. It's a lot better. Looking very well. I mean, the this light of day, it's just done. Uh, not just over here on ETS2, but also on, on Mega Truck Sunwater. It's amazing, you know. They've done an awesome job. And keep in mind, this is in beta, so you know, this chip. There's some bugs that they're working on fixing. You know, a few little things here and there that, you know, that has to be fixed before it can be released to the public. Uh, if you're interested in playing the beta for ETS 2 or America Truck somewhere, you, you can get it on Steam. Just go over to the beta, make sure you click on the one that says beta 1.4.0. Public beta. At the roundabout, take the second. And it would automatically load it. And we're going to stay on it until the new version of it comes out. But I'd say I am liking what I'm seeing here. It, it, it does look very well. Exit now. May I turn the engine sound just down just a little bit? You guys, so you can hear. Oh yeah, the, the lights Keep are not light. blowed out. We got our big uh, amber lights on up there while we're toting this, this hauling this load, and you don't even know that it's on in the truck. You can't see. I can not see the difference in the mirrors and the windshield of the truck, where it's a little bit more blowed out. Going in tonight now. Fog starting to roll in. Go straight on. Let me go ahead and turn that engine sound down just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too loud. Yeah, it's just a little bit light. We're gonna turn that down just a little bit. Put it back in the middle. And put that back in the middle. That way it won't be too loud in the video. Yeah, that's better. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Yeah, you, you can really see the difference in the lighting. You see how the lighting is compared with... This is no graphics mod either. I mean, this is default graphics now for ETS 2. Exit now. And, and uh, it looks really good now. Like I said, I may have to do a little bit of adjustments for mine. But, I mean, it looks really well. See, now you can start seeing a little bit of the, of the uh, amber getting dark on us. Keep left. Oh, we just about messed up there. Let me back up here. Yeah, you, I mean, you know, look at the outside view here, it, even at night, it, it's not really blowed out, you know, the, um, before, you know, the embers were really blowed out, it was, uh, it's a lot better. 
You know, hats off to SGS for this update. It, it, this looks amazing. If this is what's coming, you know, to the series of uh, ETS 2 and then America Truck, you know, we, we have a lot to look forward to. You know, in, in history for these games, because this looks really good. This is all default, guys. This is no the no graphics mod. Um, I do know there's a few mods that is working. I don't have a lot of mods over here. If I don't play ETS2 as much, I don't play it as much. Um, but with this, I may have to start playing it more. It, it looks amazing. Go straight on. Still some fixes I see that they need to do something about the uh, you know the reflections off the off the, the uh, gates you know the fences and there's a few little things that I see that still has not been fixed and needs to be fixed and it's the same way over in each kit on, on that mech truck simulator it's the same way over there too that's something that definitely needs to be fixed um, if they can figure out how to fix it there's your brights yeah that's that's really good I mean you can look in the uh, so you're not, you know, not very, not blowed out over bright, you know, very nice. Go straight on. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if they added new signs here to ETS 2. I know they added new road signs to America Truck Simulator. I'm not sure if they did that over here. I think the biggest update over here was to lighting. I know America Truck did get you know a, a few other things. They did get the new chassis. Um, they got the new sleeper versions of the new Western Star and some new signage. I don't I'm not really sure if they got signage over here or not. That one I can't tell you. I, I don't. I'm not sure about that one. Tried to find a little bit shorter run tonight, but I could not find one. This is about the shortest one I could find. This is about 330 miles, but we're going to be getting on the ferry, so it won't be as bad. We've got a train coming. We'll pull up just a little bit here. For the train. comes the train. Um, we're not using no sound mod right now. The sound mod is not working right now. But yeah, look at the light, you know, shining off the train. It looks so good. I mean, Hats off to them for what they've done. Yeah, 
And uh, any, anyone that plays it, uh, if you was wondering about the beta, if you should um, jump over to the beta, you know, that's you know entirely up to you. Um, as over here, I'm not quite sure everything they did get. Like I said, I know they did get the new lighting. Um, for me, I'm enjoying it. I think it looks great. I think, you know, they've done a great job. So, I would say yes. But, uh, you know, if you want to wait until it completely comes out, you know, to the public, that would be, that's great too. Um, but it, it looks so much better. Even at night, I mean, it, this is with the bright lights on and see how good it looks. Get ready to turn left. Turn right here. Turn left. Oh, this ain't it. Yeah. No, that's not where we turn, guys. That's where it looked like the GPS was showing that we turned there, but that can't be it. So that's a business. gotta be here. All the rain has moved in. That was my fault. I guess I should have been paying attention. Turn right. I don't play, like I've said, mentioned, already mentioned, I don't play this one as much. So I'm not as used to this one as I am a Mac truck somewhere. But I don't play it near as much. Really, I mean, I, I'm I'm amazed at how good it looks. At the roundabout, take the first exit. The rain sounds pretty good too. This is all the fault, you know. That's exit now. The fault rain sounds. It could sound a little bit better. I don't know. If, I don't know if there's a rain mod out there for ETS two. I'll have to look into that and see if there is a rain mod out there. It gives you a little bit better, you know, sounds. Keep right, and then turn right. I do know there's some out there for e for Mexico, so I don't know about right. some here. And then turn right. Turn right.
we're gonna go down here and get on the boat on the ferry. We'll take it somewhere home the other part that we gotta go to. I like to get in here and show you know beta for both of these games. And, you know I do play both of them. Um, I have groups for both of these games, and, and I, I don't want to leave ETS2 out. You know for everyone that's over in the groups, you know that does play it. Yeah, and, and with these changes, I, I'm gonna have to play it more. I mean, I, I really am. All right, here we go. Free computer. Uh, let me see how many miles we got after the ferry ride here. Uh, we got 118 miles to go. Alright. Get ready to turn right. And uh, like turn I said before, right. I don't normally use these these trucks but I'd say I am really starting to like this yeah, this truck here this is a V8 model and Turn I'd right. say I, I am starting to really like it Oh, the speed limit, eh? Yeah, it, it's it's just so good. I mean, the lighting, you know, from the beacons are not extremely bright. Up. Night, you know, I I'm not, I don't know how good it is over on e, on ATS. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. Um, but yeah, it, it looks really good. The the lighting and the graphics and stuff like that. The lighting is, uh, I mean, you, you really and truly, you don't need a graphics mod now. I mean, you, you can run this without a graphics mod, do some tweaking, and it, it would look good. It would be well, it would be well worth playing, you know, without a graphics mod. I know that most of us will, will still use a graphics mod. You know, that's just normal. Guys, if anyone that watches my Let's Pretty Far series, well, that's something different that I've been that I'm thinking about doing over on the uh, on GTA 5. I'm gonna see how it works. I, I don't know Get if it's gonna to work like it. like we want to do. I think we may do some trucking over there. I've actually put in a real truck over there uh, that I found on GTA 5 mods. Turn left. I'm gonna put, and uh, I think we're gonna try and see how it works. Yeah, you know, it won't be legit. You know, it won't be, you know, no, nothing, you know, like this, because it's Grand Theft Auto. I mean, you can't make it that legit, but, you know, you can, 
you know, get pretty close, you know, to the same thing. Turn left. Get on the interstate here. Also another thing too that I am um, um, been thinking about doing over here. You know, I was playing some old, some different types of games, and some of them may be older games. You know, some of them may be something that's been out for a while. You know, you know, that, you know that, that we may play. You know, over here on the channel. You know, that's that's, that's something that we may do. You know, play something older. Because uh, right now, there's not a lot that's come out. I know Hitman 3 come out. And I am going to do some live streaming of that. And some videos of Hitman. I'm already playing that. Um, I know that it did come out. But you know, other than that right now, I really don't see too much that's come out. That I want to use. Over here right now. Hoping very soon, y'all, we'll get a lot more stuff, you know, getting released. I know the DLC also for this uh, game here it should be coming very soon. The new uh, country that is coming out. Which would be awesome. We got 77 miles to go. Now, I, I can see a little bit of the light shining off of the, uh, of this car in front of us, the, uh, Amber. Still looks pretty cool, though. I mean, it's not near as bad as it used to be, even at night, you know. It used to be really bright, you know. Even, you know, for us at night, so it's... It's a lot better. A lot better set up.
just kind of being quiet for a minute. Um, this, uh, like I said, this truck's supposed to have a V8 in it. Um, I'm not really familiar with these trucks. I, I don't know if that's actually what their V8 sound like. You know, it is a default engine sound, so. Well, something happened here. It must be an accident or something to make that pull over. We should be pretty, pretty close to the, our destination now. We hit the side. Oh, uh, we may be stuck. That's not good. There we go. Still not used to these trucks yet. Turn left. Even normally when I would play this so far, I would use a modded truck. So I'm not quite there yet with these, with these um, default European trucks. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Oh, here we go. Turn on this back little dirt road here. Ready to turn right. Turn right. I want to say too, guys, to everyone that's been watching the videos, everyone that's been subscribing, uh, you've been, and we just hit the wall, uh, the gate. That uh, we now have, I have now have a second channel. Okay, Turn right. Uh, see if I can get this in here. Um, and I have a second um, channel that I will be putting up all my live streams and everything. 
when I do live streams on Twitch. I want to try to do some live streams over there too. But yeah, I have a, a second channel now that all the live streams and stuff will go over there. But I want to say, you know, thank you to everyone that's been subscribing. This is um, where it ends. And all that. Like, it means a lot. I mean, I want to do more. And, you know, I'm, I'm in it to, here to do more and, and want to help, you know, make everyone have fun. Let everybody have fun. You know, enjoy the, enjoy the streams. Oh yeah, yeah, the lighting looks so much better. You know, it's not too bright, you know, it's not blowed out, it's very good. And I'm sorry for my talking, it's just, uh, kind of, kind of late when I'm doing these videos. You know, tired. There we go. All right, we drove excellent. We drove uh, 264 miles. Took us 16 hours and 27 minutes to get here. We consumed 26.3 gallons of fuel, and that music is too loud. We'll probably take that off camera. Oh, that music is too loud. Way too loud. Go ahead and hook up to this before we end our video. Oh, this is a devil. Go ahead and let the other wheels up there. Drive safe. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I just want to get in here in ETS 2 and show y'all the new update on the 1.4 beta. Um, what is is come here for ETS 2. Um, I had to say that it looks really good. You know, the, the lighting, um, this type of warning. Even, you know, the trucks, uh, everything is looking a lot better with the, um, with the update, that, you know, in this beta. So, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good afternoon.